relative humidity at 62%. Still fairly dry air. The wind chill this hour is 19 with the north wind at 9 miles per hour. Currently 19 to 30 degrees seems to be the spread around the area, and that certainly is cold enough to bring moisture in in the form of snow, and we're getting colder overnight. Here's that storm system really has been a mess for a good part of North Carolina well into Tennessee. This is an ice storm for those folks, and we've been seeing accumulating ice there, and that'll go on through the night. The northern line here is part of this inland low until about 3 o'clock in the morning. And then a secondary low builds off the coast of the Carolinas. That becomes how we get our snowfall. So we'll watch that system make its move kind of uh, out toward the Atlantic holding a bit more to the south than many of these past systems have, which puts us just on the northern edge of the snow band itself in our region. So in changing the start times, the first thing we had to do was say about 9 o'clock in the morning through central New Jersey, which means it's about 10 o'clock in the morning by the time it moves right through the city, and then later if you're a bit farther to the north. Also, you'll notice we've taken the snow away from central New York State and kind of tightened up the bands here. That 1 to 3 area in northwestern New Jersey, also through a good part of the Hudson Valley, but we believe uh, it's going to be a bit more in coastal areas on Long Island and in central New Jersey, including the five boroughs. We've given the opportunity for up to six inches of snow out of this system with that, starting at about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning and continuing until about 9 or 10 o'clock at night. So your early morning drive time in seems to be fairly dry sky still. But by noon, by lunchtime, you're still watching or you're starting to get that real accumulating snow. And it's still snowing by the time we're on the air with you again at 5 o'clock tomorrow night. So cloudy and cold, we do get some snow, we believe, out of this storm system 32 degrees, but we'll watch its progress carefully. And by on Eyewitness News at about uh, 5 in the morning, you ought to be able to get a better opportunity of where this storm mm -hmm. is moving. And of course, we'll be joining you with hourly updates once the, sn once the snow starts falling throughout the day, so you won't be caught by surprise by this system. You're going to have a long day tomorrow. You're yep. going to be busy. It'll be fun. Thanks, Sam. Coming up next, the new weapon in the...